Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video because I'm doing my first ever favorites video. So I'm gonna be doing my May favorites, my favorite things that I've loved this whole month. Um, I have obviously a lot of makeup, some skincare, a few like random accessory lifestyle products that I was just like, I enjoy these, let me share them with you guys. So before we get started, make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Alrighty, and without further ado, let's jump into the favorites. I have some stuff that is obviously newer products that came out, so I've been using those and loving them, and then some of some products I randomly have like rediscovered and I'm like, wait, I really like this. Why did I stop using it? Kind of thing. So this is the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Pro Glow. So you guys know um, if you've watched my videos before that I love the um, L'Oreal Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation, the one that comes in a pump. But I tried this one, so they have like this obviously in like a matte version too, but I love my dewiness, I love the glow, my skin's like normal to dry, so that's typically what I go for with my products. But I've been using this and I love, 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 love it. It is a very um, like radiant finish. It's pretty hydrating, I would say. It's very liquidy, kind of like the Fresh Wear, except for this one definitely has more glow than that one does, because obviously it's called Pro Glow. But I would say the coverage is pretty medium. It's a good amount of coverage. And you could probably like sheer it out a little bit more if you want because it's so liquidy. You can kind of like spread it. That makes sense. So I've been loving this guy so much. I am wearing this today actually in conjunction with this guy. So this is my second thing I was going to talk about. This is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And then has SPF of 30. I've had this probably over a year or about a year. And it was sitting in my foundation drawer and I was like, hmm, I want something that's like more sheer, obviously like more tinted moisturizer like. And I have a couple different ones, but I saw this and I was like, let me put it on. And ever since I have been trying it, I've been wearing it ever since. I love this stuff. It's really pretty, especially when I mix these two, because this one has a little bit more coverage and this is not as much coverage. It's pretty, it, you can blend it out to be pretty sheer. But honestly, I really love just like squirting my hand, rubbing together and like applying it like it's a lotion or a moisturizer because it just like evens out the skin tone. It looks really, really nice. You can build it up a little bit if you need like extra coverage, but I, I find that it wears really well. I love the finish of it. It's just a really good tension moisturizer to have. You want something not as thick as a foundation, but not like some tinted moisturizers are so like non-existent, you know what I mean? So I love this guy. Next product that I'm going to briefly kind of go over because my last video was dedicated to this is these guys. I am loving her new cream products. This blush is awesome. I love this color. It's a very bright, bold, loud color, but you can tone it down if you need. This one is Strawberry Drip and then I have Butter Biscuit, which is the bronzer. It's so dirty. Please don't ignore that. But I love these. If you watched my last video, you saw that I really was enjoying them. I'm probably going to pick up another shade of this and probably a couple more of these because I think cream products in the summertime is just like, it's so nice. Like you don't want a bunch of heavy powders on your face. You just kind of want to slap some creams on. So I am loving these guys. Next up is an oldie but a goodie. And I bought this a while ago and I liked it and then I was like, no, I don't like it. And then in one of my videos with, um... Some of my friends, where I did my friends pick out my makeup, my friend Caroline picked out um, this bronzer for me. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze. This is like a classic bronzer, big pan size, great mirror, you know, all that. But I don't know why I stopped using it. I just like wasn't feeling it anymore. And then when I used it in that video, I was like, I love this bronzer. So I've been really using it this month. Um, probably going to continue to use it for a while, but... It's just a great overall bronzer to have in your kit. It's it's pricey, but I've had this for like a year, and I still have it in a pan. It's the perfect color, at least for my skin tone. I think they have one more deeper one. If you're a deeper skin toned, then pick up that one, but Marc Jacobs just has great bronzers. So Next up, this is a newer product. This is something that I bought um, during the Sephora sale, and I've been playing around with it, trying to work with it, um, learn how to use it. This is the Patrick Ta Brows, brow, Four Brows or whatever, Brow Wax. Brow wax. There is like a, a brown shade, but I have the clear. So this is a tricky product. I got it at first. I, I was feeling it, but then I wasn't feeling it, and now I'm kind of like, it it's, it's, has a learning curve to it. You kind of have to learn how to do it. It takes practice, for sure. I will say though, I am enjoying it. It gives you, it really sticks your brows in place. So if you have like brows that are just like, 
out of whack, going everywhere, curly, sit down, don't lay flat, whatever. I think you would really enjoy this. So it's like dry pretty much, but you activate it by spraying any sort of spray on it, any sort of setting spray. The, he said you can even use water, I'm not sure. But then you wet it, you spin a spoolie in it, and then you kind of go from there with your brows. The good thing about this is it doesn't have a fast dry down time, so even if you applied it a couple minutes ago, you can still kind of go and re adjust your brows it definitely is just something to get used to and learn how to use but if you like that bushy brow look and you want them to be kind of laid flat and you know kind of sparse like so then I think you would really like this so I've been enjoying it next up is another thing that I bought during the Sephora sale and I've been using it messing around with it and it is the Pat McGrath um, sublime perfection blurring under eye powder I got the shade light so it's Oh my god, it's literally everywhere. But it's like stark white, but it's translucent, so it doesn't give you a white cast on your eye. This is honestly such a great powder. It's so small and it's so expensive, but wow, does it blur your under eyes. Like, it's honestly shocking how well this works. I even will set my T-zone with it sometimes because it's so blurring or kind of go over like right here where my pores are a little bigger. I honestly might pick up another shade in this, I think the next shade, to use even all over my face. It is just such a good blurring powder. I mean, that's all I can really say about it. It just, it, it does what it says it does. So I really like it if you want to, you know, splurge and get a nice higher end powder. If you struggle finding powders that even out your skin, um, texture, everything, blur out your pores. Or if you struggle with finding powders that don't lay flat under your eyes, then I think you're going to really like this. Okay, another product that I picked up in the Savora sale and I've just been obsessed with, use it literally daily, use it with makeup on, with makeup off, whatever, is the Marc Jacobs um, Kissability Recover Hydrating Coconut Lip Oil. Just clear. It is the most comfortable lip oil, gloss, whatever you want to call it. It's not sticky. It just is hydrating. It gives you a really pretty plump. I'll show you. It just gives you that nice shine, but it doesn't like... Your hair doesn't like stick in it and get caught in it. it. Doesn't feel tacky. It lasts a really long time. I just love it. I'll put on a lip liner and put this on. I put this over literally any lip color I'm wearing. I just love the feel of it and I can't rave enough. So everyone should have this. All right, next up is this little tiny guy. And no, this is not a sample. This is literally the size it comes in. This is, it's called Freck. I think that's literally what it's called. Long wearing freckle makeup. It's from the brand Freck. I'm sure some of you guys have heard of it. It's very iconic, but I don't know, as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, freckles, fake freckle, fake freckles are super in. They're super trendy right now. So, you know, you can do that with eyebrow pencils and things like this, but this little guy makes the most realistic freckles. It's insane. I don't know if you can tell on my face. I love using this. I will say it also has like a little bit of a learning curve. You have to play around with it at first because the first time I used it, I applied way too many. I was doing it way too dark. I let them sit too long. If you let them sit, the longer you let them sit, the darker they're going to be. And it did not look like realistic, but you just kind of have to play with it. And it's really simple though. All you do is you take this and you're just, you just draw little dots. And however long you want them to sit there, whatever you want to do, but then when you're done, you just take your finger and dab. And it kind of like, when you put it on the wet product, it picks it up, and when you go back, it puts it in other places. So that's what makes it so realistic looking, is it like scatters them for you. And it's like the perfect undertone for, for freckles. I don't know, it, this thing is genius. It's ridiculous, I mean, it's this small, and it's like $22, it's ridiculous. But I'm hoping this will last me a really long time. I really love it. I can't wait to use it more in the summer, just like do a tinted moisturizer and do a little bit of this. Oh, it'd be such a cute look. So I really love it, but it's not for everybody. All right, last up on the makeup train is this new setting spray I got. So this is the, and this is also an older product, but this is just something that I've recently discovered myself. Um, this is the Lumi Shake and Glow Dumas from L'Oreal. So it is just a dewy setting spray, essentially. I, like I said, I love glowy skin, dewy skin, especially in the summer. It just makes you look healthy. You look youthful. You just look overall, like, really good. I'm always looking in the market for to add to my dewy skin spray collection or whatever but um this one is obviously drugstore really affordable i really like it the mister on it is great like it's very fine it doesn't spit at you so it's not gonna like clump oh my god i just ate that it's not gonna like spray and like ruin your makeup or whatever it's just a very fine 
by Miss. So if you like this kind of um, finished, I think you're really gonna like it. It says you can. It says you can use this to prime and hydrate, set, and refresh. So yeah, I've been really enjoying it. And if you like dewy things, then definitely check this out. Okay, next next we're gonna transition into skincare products. So I have been, the more I learn about, the more I watch videos and learn about skincare and ingredients and XYZ, um, the more I invest. So some of these are, well all of these are pretty pricey, just disclaimer. I invest a lot in my skin, I just, it's taken me a long time to get my skin to where it is now. So I invest a lot of money in skincare. It's not for everybody, there's so many affordable, really good skincare products out there that are equally probably as good as these. I just have found kind of what's working for me, at least right now, and so I'm kind of sticking with that. So just disclaimer, these are pricier items. But recently I have been using the Glow Recipe Watermen Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. It's mouthful. So it's um, in this pretty glass bottle. I got this a couple weeks ago, honestly probably a month ago, and I've been loving it. So it's really interesting. Uh, it has a very different consistency. I think it's because the cactus water or whatever makes it a little bit thicker and stickier. Not stickier, but it looks like it's sticky. I use this pretty much every day, day and night, unless I sometimes use my mom's um, dark, dark spot toner or whatever from Ola Hendrickson. Anyways though, I really have been enjoying this, obviously. I've made a pretty big dent. I'll kind of read to you on Sephora what it says it's, it does, but it says it's for any skin type, so normal, dry, combination, oily, skincare concerns, pores, dryness, dullness, and uneven uneven texture. I definitely, like I mentioned, I have dryness. Um, sometimes I have dullness, and the, sometimes the texture, or whatever, but my as I get older, my pores get bigger. It's so annoying, especially right here, so I really like it. Um, I just put on a cotton pad and swipe it all over my face, and yeah, so... That's the toner I've been using. Next up is this. I'm not proud of this purchase. And I did make this purchase during the Sephora sale, so it was 20% off. But holy smokes, this is really expensive. This is an essence. This is from Tatcha. This is like $95. But I love it. That's the worst part too. I love it and I'm probably gonna have to re-get it or repurchase it. So after I do my toner, I go in with my essence. I don't necessarily use it every day or every time because it's so expensive, I wanna savor it. But this essentially is like, helps plump your skin. And it's good for any skin type. It says it's a resurfacing softener of 98.7% pure anti-aging Japanese superfoods that make all skincare work better. So I guess like toners or essences, um, you kind of dab them on, you put them on your face, and while it's wet, you then put on your serum and things because that's what helps penetrate it and get it deeper into your skin and really make it work right that's what I've read and heard so but this just helps I, if my skin is extra dull extra just not there this will give me an extra pick pick me up and I automatically see my skin looking healthier and brighter and plumper so essences are totally not an essential in your skincare since I'm so into skincare now I'm like adding little things here and there but I really love it I thought it was worth mentioning if any of you guys are skincare junkies like me. I really enjoy anything from Tatcha. It's just like top notch. It's great. Next on the skincare terrain is this guy. So this is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. And they came out with this probably like a month or so ago. Picked this up during the sale and I've been loving it. I use it every morning because it's like a vitamin C serum. So I use it daily to like during the day to brighten my skin, you know, make me look more alive, healthier, plumper, yada, yada, yada. Um, this is essentially kind of like the true serum that they have, but better. Better for like anti-aging, I guess, properties or reasons. So I've really been loving it. It has 15% vitamin C, 5% PHAs, and hyaluronic acid. So it instantly brightens, uh, visibly firms, plump skin with hydration, reduces the appearance of dark spots, pores, and wrinkles. I really enjoy it. Like I said, I, I've been seeing a difference in my skin, I think at least. Um, I haven't been using it super long, but at least for a month. So if you're in the market for a vitamin C serum and you don't know which brand to go to, this is, I think, a really good recommendation. So check it out. And then two more skincare items. Second to last is this Belief the True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera. So I've had, I've tried the Belief Aqua Balm, like the regular one. It's like a, a gel-like moisturizer and it's blue. There's like two different kinds, but it's the blue one that's like a gel. And this one, I think, I don't know if this is um, limited edition. I saw this and I was like, wow, I want to try that because one, I like, I like gel moisturizers, especially as it gets hotter because they feel more lightweight on your skin. One, I thought that was great. And two, this has aloe vera in it. So I'm like, 
if I ever get sunburn or just in general aloe vera helps reduce redness and I typically that's one of my skincare concerns is redness um, especially in my cheek area so I got this guy I've really been enjoying it I put it on pretty much daily um, sometimes night too if I don't need my Tatcha Dewey skin cream but I love it I think it's great I'm not sure if it's limited edition or whatever but if you have similar skin to me then I think you would really enjoy this product so very hydrating lightweight moisturizing all that good stuff and then lastly we have the super goop glow screen so obviously or maybe i haven't mentioned this before but obviously spf is the most important thing in your skincare routine and so every day i put on sunscreen even if i'm just inside like working from home still put it on and the super goop unseen sunscreen is great it's clear it's just it's non-detectable you don't get a white cast it's very comfortable but they just came out with this guy this is the glow screen and this has a, such a pretty tint to it. Honestly, you could wear it by itself, like no makeup. It just gives your skin the prettiest natural radiant glow. Oh my God, this is SPF 40. I just love it. If you have skin like me, if you're oily, I would say stay away from this. I don't think this is gonna work for you. They did come out with a matte version, so maybe check that out or even the original. But if you have normal to dry or whatever and you want something, you want some sunscreen, that's gonna give you a little bit of a tint, not much, but also give you that overall glow. This guy's for you. I think you'll love it. Oh my gosh, I've gotten everybody on him. I just bought my mom one today. It's just a really great sunscreen. I can't say enough good things, so check that out. Okay, and then lastly, like I said, we're gonna do a few just random accessory lifestyle things that I've been using and loving. So first up is these Sonia Kasha bags. So I have this one and this one. So this one, I have all my skincare in it. It's from Target, by the way. I love this bag. So I have like a compartment here. I have like um, my essence, my toner, my oil cleanser, moisturizer, all that. And then you flip it. I usually keep my razor, toothbrush, tampons, um, contacts in here, things like that. And then there's these two detachable ones. And it is like secured with a little rubber thingy and I have like my sunscreen, cotton pads, all that. And then here's mainly like my serums and stuff like this. So I really enjoy it. I think it keeps me pretty organized, especially when I'm traveling. I used to have my skincare in like a big clear bag and it was fine, but I had to like take out a billion things to get like one product. So I really love it. It's like this cute pink snake snake skin print. And so yeah, if you are in need of a good travel bag, go to Target and check out Sonny Kesha. And then I also got a matching makeup bag. I don't have any makeup in it because I, this is like only when I travel, I keep my makeup all in my like acrylic drawers. But so same print, there is a little zipper here and then this little guy with the band. So I honestly kind of threw all my makeup brushes right here. And then I put a few, I put like my um, foundations, setting sprays, blender, all in this one. And then there is this side, which I put pretty much mainly all my makeup. I put like my, my powders, my bronzers, blushes, all that good stuff in here. And then you flip it and there is this little compartment, which these two, they come with two, kind of sit in here like this. So I kind of separated and I put like my lip products, mascara, stuff like in one. And then I put like eyebrows, things like that in this one. And then there is one more little pocket. So lots of room to fit whatever you need. I have a crap ton of makeup when I make it work in here. So like I said, if you need something to help you get organized with your makeup when you're traveling, check out these bags. There's a couple different patterns. I just really like all the compartments and I think they are really nice. So that's that. Next up is, this is super random, but I love this nail color for summer. This is one of my favorite nail colors, but especially summer. This is OPI um, Cajun Shrimp. It's like red, but it's like has this like almost like pinky orange oh my god it's the prettiest nail color ever and especially in summer it just makes your nails pop i am obsessed with it i got it at walmart so um super easy to find and yeah so if you like colors like this i would definitely check it out another random thing is these sunglasses that i bought from amazon so these aren't they so cute they're like a kind of like a cat eye very like bougie you know but I am obsessed with them. I actually bought these in a set. So there's a black pair as well. That one's in my car. But it was like $13 for both of these. And they came in like a couple days because Prime or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm obsessed with them. I literally have been wearing them nonstop. If you like kind of different style sunglasses like that are kind of more statement pieces, then Amazon. And I'll link everything for you guys. 
And then another random thing is these slippers from Walmart. Walmart. Okay, they are so cute. They're white, they're fuzzy, they have like a crisscross thing. They were like nine or ten dollars. I actually saw one of my favorite blogger vloggers. She got these, but like they had a cheetah print and they didn't have that in the store when I went, but they had these white ones and I loved them. So I think they have like the cheetah print. This one, I think they might might have one other color, but they are the comfiest things ever and they're so cheap. They're so cute. If you need slippers, look at Walmart. Seriously, don't sleep on Walmart. Don't sleep on it. And lastly, another random accessory is the claw clips. Everybody knows these are making a comeback. 90s is like coming full, full circle. And so yeah, so I found this guy at Target. This came by itself. I have a couple different ones too. But I like this one because it's a little bigger. My hair is just not super thick, but it's super long. So it's hard to fit in like a, the normal size ones. And I like this because it has like a rubber grip. So go to Target if you need claw clips. I literally wore this the other day and it was so comfortable. It was like cute and stylish though, like effortless, but like put together. So yeah. All right guys. So I think that pretty much rounds up my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually had a lot of fun doing this kind of video. I'm excited to start doing my monthly favorites or current beauty favorites, things like that. So if there's any other, you know, ideas or recommendations of that nature that you guys want me to try out, then definitely leave it in the comment below and I'll totally check it out. I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope there's some product recommendations I made that you guys are gonna go get. I think I had some real good stuff in here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.